Hi guys, time to do some of those little cheap eBay electronic project kits. That's a long description, isn't it? Cheap kits you get on eBay. Uh, I got some here. It's got a little relay in it. I think that one is an infrared on-off switch. Yeah, that's an infrared sensor there, relay there, chip there, that's a CD4017 chip, so that's one you could do, that's a button cell holder, microphone, I think this one is an FM microphone. In other words, you speak into it and you should be able to pick it up on your FM radio. I might do that one actually. That's another clock. I can't remember why I bought that, because I've done one. I guess somebody might have asked me to do another one. and pieces. I think I'm going to do that FM microphone. Okay, cleaner space. <laughs> What have we got? Obviously no instructions, we don't want anything like that, do we? Microphone. Button cell holder. Transistor, only one. Three resistors. Selection of little capacitors. Just check they're all the same. 30, 30, 30. Oh. Ten. I can only see one written on that. Number sort of slipped off the side when they printed it. 104, 104. So that's going to be a process of elim elimination. On off switch, and a little coil. Right. That's a good start. That says 103, 104. That says 104. Uh, okay, I might have to go online and just check the diagram. That's not good. Microphone seems fairly straightforward. Except we've got a plus and a minus. I 
have no idea which way round that goes. Right, well that doesn't help. I think we can work out which that is. <laughs> That's one I can do. I'll do the ones I can and then we might have to go and check online. Soldier and iron on, yeah, I think so. Okay, one bit out of the way. Transistor. This is an A two one no eight one oh six or a nine oh one eight. Which way round is that? 9018 Just remember I usually zoom in when I'm doing this, don't I? It's definitely 104, so that's definitely going to go there. That's definitely 104, so that's definitely going to go there. Right, we need a 103 and a 30. Oh, that 30 is okay, isn't it? We've got plenty of them. Those two are both 30s.
left. Ten written on it, so that must be that one. But that one I don't know. That's the only one that's left. So by elimination, unless they've given me the wrong one in the pack, it must be that one. If it doesn't work, we know it can't possibly be my faulty soldering. So it would have to be the wrong item. That was a joke in case anybody didn't understand. Okay, we got three resistors, one's 220 ohms, one's 2.2k and one's 22k. So, probably safest if I measure them. Ohms. Let's have a look. That looks like red, red, black. Red, red, but I've got that colour on. I oh, know, red, red, black, and then the fourth line, because that's 22k. Red, red, black again. Yep, 200, 220 ohms. Just measure the last one, but this one should be 2.2k. Hmm. Well, I make that 22k. was 22k wasn't it so we better check that one did I misread it yep 
No, that one's also 22k. That's naughty, isn't it? I'm going to go and have a look online just to see if there is a diagram for it. I had to go to my backup stock of resistors. But there we are 2.2k. So that's that one. So that was a bit naughty, not having the right one. That's the first kit I've had, I think, that's been missing an important part. Let's just check this one again. This one should be 22. Yeah, 22. Right, what we got left? That one. So read the instructions and it said something about you have to supply your own wire for the aerial, which goes just there. So I'm going to have to go and read the details again to see how long that piece of wire should be. Switch. Finally this one, the microphone, which on there it shows a plus and a minus, or well, certainly a plus, but I've no idea which way round this should go.
I'm going to put it in loose so that I can desolder it again if I need to turn it round. So we need a bit of wire for the aerial. I'm going to go and have a look at the diagram again, see if it tells me how long. I've had a look, it says 0.5 metres. So I've got some wire here. Measure that off at 0.5. So there's our aerial. I wonder if it works. Got a couple of button cells here. I don't know what condition they're in. Been laying on my desk for a while. to set something up so we can check. I'll find a radio. Well, that was a complete fail. It didn't work. I tried replacing the resistor with the one that was supplied just in case the silk screen print was wrong and the resistors were right, but that didn't make any difference. So I desoldered the 9018 transistor and tried some random ones out of my box of bits here. In doing that, desoldering it and resoldering it a few times, I actually damaged the track on the back. So I've now got the transistor directly soldered on the back there. And that is a 9013 transistor. And we've got what I could best call a, um, a reasonable bit of success. It does actually work now. It's not very clear speech, but it does work. So I'll go and demonstrate. The only radio I've got that's suitable is in the spare bedroom, so we've got to go through there. <laughs> it's over in the corner there, making a lot of static noise at the moment. Um, what's the best thing to do? best thing I can do is go and put the camera over there so you can hear it. And I'll go the other side of the room. Well, I think we can say it's rubbish, but I did actually manage to hear myself talking, which was more than I could do to begin with.